Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over some pull downs. A lot of different variations you can do, different handles, different ways you can spot yourself if you're not strong enough to do pull ups, and also how to challenge yourself once pull ups become a little easy for you. So stay tuned, got a whole bunch of good stuff in store for you. All right, first I'm gonna show you the setup. Now where I've got mine are in the ceiling. I've got some eye bolts. You can see one there and one there. And then all you do is just attach some chain with a carabiner and then you have it come down here. The nice thing about chain is you can adjust whatever height works best for you. So that's how you, my setup is there. Now I'm gonna show you some of the handles you can use. In no particular order, first one I have on the menu are your DIY handles. These are the fat version. So you can see this is two inch instead of your typical one inch or so. This is probably one of the most challenging ones you'll do because that grip strength is so much harder when you're holding your own body weight to it. So let me show you how you hook it up and what it will look like. All right, so you just hook it on like so. Simple enough. And going back to being able to adjust this is I like to make it to where when I'm all the way stretched out, my knees are just barely above the floor. So that way I'm getting a full stretch, but then I can easily spot myself while I'm doing the pull-ups if it gets too hard. Now you're not gonna be able to see it in this angle, but I'll just show you what this looks like real quick from this view. Just like that. Let me show you. All right, you can barely see the handles up here, but you can see they're the same ones. And it's pretty much a full stretch all the way to the ground. And then you just want to come back up. And this will really tax and test your grip strength as well as your lats. So there's one for you. Here's a second variation. Same DIY self built dumbbell, or not dumbbells, but the handles. These ones are just one inch wide, different rope color, change it up, make it exciting. Hook it on the same way, but these are so much easier and more friendly. So if you're wanting to focus more on just getting your lats, not too worried about getting your grip strength, this is a great way to do it. And it's nice being able to have each individual arm, so that way it helps counteract imbalances. And that way you're just good to go, just like so. Here's another way you can attach for some pull-ups. Each of these little hooks on the end will hook up to the chains. That way you can do more of a traditional bar pull-up. You can see how quick and easy all these attachments go. Makes it very nice to keep the intensity up. And you just hook it up just like that. Can't even see it, there we go. And then, just time to do some pull-ups. This way is a lot easier, a lot less balancing to do but it's very nice and it's very different. Here's another option for you. You can use this bar, which is basically the same principle, but it's shorter. And you can see it, you can put a bolt through the middle. That way you can have this attached. And then if you desire, you can stick a carabiner here so you can do something close grip. So let me demonstrate. This just hooks right. Yeah. And this one right there. And then I've got these two little handles. Because you haven't seen these ones yet today. These are just normal looking gym handles. You can hook these together for some very nice close grip pull-ups. So that way you're able to hit your back at a totally different angle. So when you're tied with the other ones, you can go this way. like that. So there's a couple different variations for you, a little short demo. So next let me show you what you can do if you're not quite strong enough to do pull-ups by yourself yet. All right, these are your handy dandy little self spotters, just some power bands. And what you can do is you can catch it on top of the pull-up 
bar and then you can put your foot through so that way it'll help self spot you and when you're connecting it all you do is you'll loop around and then have it loop through itself so to show you we'll just loop it like this and then just pull all the way through that way it's hook on and then you can just put your foot through just like this and then depending on how much spot you need it's just how far you put your foot down and then you're just good to go it's a lot easier to do so you can do it that way if you want and it pulls your shorts up oh yeah so there's one way you can do it all right here's another way you can self spot yourself now you got to use the honor system on this one so you're going to want to set the top range well your stretch of the pull up to where you're still kneeling on the ground or you don't have to exactly kneel you can just be like in a seated position that way you can pull and then just simply use your legs to push you up that way you can get as many reps as you need but focus on using your arms your back everything to pull you up and then just using your legs just enough to get it up okay let's say that you've mastered pull-ups they're not very challenging unless you're doing very high reps next what you can do is get one of these little dip belts is what they call it and what you can do is since it's got this chain is you can just wrap it around a weight or a cable anything that adds resistance you can also use a band if you can make it work that way but all you got to do is just wrap around like this and then I've got a little 35 pound kettlebell all you got to do is just wrap it around and then you can just attach like this and then you can go crazy on the pull-ups see look there we go just like that and then waddle 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 might be off the pull up here because I'll be all over the ground. So what you can do is just pull up with this a little extra weight. You might want to, if you're doing a whole lot of weight, when you're putting the eye bolts in, make sure you know what their rating is. Last thing you want is for them to pull out. I've never really tested the max strength of it before, but each one can hold my own body weight and this is not even close so maxing it out so just a pro tip for you just be careful and know the limitations of your engineering so you'll just go like so and pull yourself up with a little extra weight that way it's always challenging for you whether you're a beginner intermediate expert you can always be doing something to challenge yourself different variations so I hope that kind of opens up some windows for you to see what you can do at home with just doing pull-ups. And if this video gave you some good information, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe over here, and if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And we'll see you next time on Self Built.